Channel6.ca, supported by... Kick off the summer by picking up your new RV at Fellner Leisure Products. It's the best value you'll find for all your needs. From parts, servicing, sales, and financing, it's Vellner Leisure Products. The RV store in the corner with the fountain, Red Deer. Red Deer Emergency Services are responding to an alarming number of overdose calls. We're seeing a bit more of an influx of overdoses that are more critical than what we used to see. And the numbers don't lie. According to the Central Alberta AIDS Network Society, overdoses are on the rise. In the first six months of 2015, we had 19 overdose deaths in the central zone. So that's 19 people who overdosed and died. That does not include the people who overdosed and went to the hospital. It doesn't include the people who overdosed and didn't go to the hospital. It just is the deaths. Responding to overdose calls is nothing new for Captain Tom Parker and his crew. He knows that will never change. But what continues to change is the cause of the overdose. Lately, it's become more deadly. Uh, we used to see, of course, your, your alcohol and some recreational drug overdoses. But uh, as you've seen in the media lately and it's across the country, we're seeing more things that are dealing with uh, higher level opiates. We went through a ketamine spell a couple years ago as new people were experimenting with that. And now we seem to get more fentanyl based um, overdoses that we were responding to. The fentanyl is in our community and it's, uh, it's a, as we've all seen on, in the media, it's a, certainly a, a threat to the community and a very dangerous drug. So uh, we haven't been as touched as heavily as some of the other communities, but it's, we're alive to it for sure. So what is fentanyl? Fentanyl is a, new, is, is a new formulation issue, so people are cutting fentanyl into drugs. People aren't necessarily buying things called fentanyl. They're buying heroin, they're buying oxy, they're bu uh, buying opiates of some sort. Well, fentanyl is a very strong, potent drug. It's a hundred times more potent than morphine and they're mixing it with what um, I guess street users used to think they were just getting morphine oxycontin or hydromorphine pills or whatever they're buying. People don't know that that's what they're getting so that's one of the reasons that's causing overdoses. So when they're laced with fentanyl they're a hundred times more potent. It, it knocks them down and knocks the respiratory drive out really quickly. So when we get there we're finding people that aren't breathing. When they arrive on scene, EMS is equipped to respond in a short period of time with a life-saving medication. It's called Narcan or Naloxone is the chemical name for it. It's an antagonist for narcotics. So what it does is it kind of binds to the narcotic and allows your body to, to deplete it out of its system without it having a real effect on your central nervous system. Naloxone is truly life-saving medicine. Um, there's no way that you can't get high off of this. If I gave it to you, for example, and you weren't on opiates, it would make no impact on your day. But the impact it's had on saving lives on scene is staggering. What also has helped is the information provided by those who call in to 911. Bystanders are giving us more information on how the patient got to the state that they're in when we got called and so it's quickly uh, identifiable for us so that we can start our treatment right away. The important stuff around overdose is to remember that it's really important that you never use drugs alone, that if something goes bad that you have a friend there who can give you a hand. If you're not breathing within a four minute period that brain cells can start to die so it's really important that if uh, anybody is out there who has a friend who has taken a pill and that they are in distress that at least they start breathing for them and start doing CPR prior to our arrival. It, it, it will help the survivability immensely. Don't worry about the repercussions of what goes on. We just want to see somebody have to, uh, who's, who's in dire need get the help that they need and hopefully that they can learn from it and move on. Coming up in our second part feature. The language of don't do drugs or just say no or you know don't use fentanyl is fundamentally flawed because we don't have the services in place for people to quit today if they wanted to. We'll tell you what the Central Alberta AIDS Network is doing to help prevent overdose deaths. 